Feci una preghiera. Buongiorno a tutti e benvenuti alla meditazione di questa mattina. Ci alziamo la Kundalini e ci diamo sette bambini. E poi facciamo una mascara. Jai Shri Mataji and welcome to our morning meditation. We can all prepare ourselves for the morning meditation. Portiamo l'attenzione sul Sahasana e chiediamo We can place our attention on, on Sahasrara Chakra Shimataji Vieni nel mio cuore Vieni nella mia mente Purifica la mia attenzione Vieni nel mio Sahasana Shri Mataji, come into my Sahastara, come into my thoughts and come into my heart and purify my attention. Shri Mataji, tu sei colei che ci protegge, tu sei colei che ci dona gioia e beatitudine con la tua presenza divina in noi. Shri Mataji, you are the one that protects us, that gives us joy and bliss with your divine presence. Ora rivolgiamo i palmi delle nostre mani verso la Madre Terra. We can place our hands on Shri Adi Bhumi Devi. E possiamo cantare il mantra a Shri Adi Bhumi Devi. Oh. Madre Terra, ti chiediamo perdono per toccarti con i nostri piedi. Madre Terra, assorbi tutte le nostre impurità. Shri Adi Bhumi Devi, we humbly ask you for forgiveness for us for placing our feet on the Mother Earth and please absorb all our impurities. Ora la nostra attenzione va sul Muladhara Chakra. We can now move our attention to our Muladhara Chakra. Cantiamo il mantra a Shri Ganesha. Saying the mantra to Shri Ganesha. 
Ganesha fa che il potere dell'innocenza dissolva tutti gli ostacoli in noi che ci allontanano dallo spirito. Shri Ganesha, you are the one who purifies our muladhara, the one who removes all obstacles in the path of our ascent. Mettiamo ora l'attenzione sul cuore sinistro e diciamo dentro di noi Madre, grazie a te io sono lo spirito, solo puro spirito. Placing our attention on the left heart, we can silently say Shri Mataji, we are the pure spirit, the pure spirit. Diciamo il mantra Ashri Shiva Parvati. Oh. Ora portiamo l'attenzione sul nostro Sasrara. E recitiamo insieme i 19 nomi del Sasrara. O oh Divina Madre, tu in verità sei la dea del Sasrara, omaggio a te. We can now move our attention to our Sahasrara Chakra. O oh, Divine Mother, you are verily the goddess of the Sahasrara. Salutations to you. We can say the Shri Sahasrara Swamini Sakshat Mantra. Sri 
Tu sei Shri Mahaganesha. You are Shri Mahaganesha. Shri Mahaganesha Mantra. Om Dhaneva Saksha Shri Mahaganesha Namo Namaha. Tu sei Shri Mahabhairava. Shri Maha Bhairava Mantra Om Dvameva Sakshat Shri Maha Bhairava Namo Namaha Tu sei il grande superego del Virata You are the great superego of the Virata Mahat Manasa Om Dvameva Saksha Shri Mahatmanasa Namo Namaha Tu sei il grande ego del Virata. You are the great ego of the Virata, Mahat Amkara. Om Dvameva Saksha Shri Mahatankara Namo Namaha Tu sei l'uovo cosmico primordiale You are the primordial primord From you are the primordial cosmic egg Hiranya Garva Om Tuami Sakshat Shri Hiranya Garba Namo Namaha Tu sei la verità You are the truth Shri Satya, Mant Shri Satya Mantra Om Tuameva Sakshat Shri Satya Tu sei la grande attenzione. You are the great attention, Mahat Chitta. Om Tuameva Saksha Shri Mahat Chitta Namo Namaha. Tu sei il potere primordiale di Dio Onipotente. You are the primordial power of God Almighty, Shri Adi Shakti Mantra. Om Tuameva Sakshat, Shri Adi Shakti Namo Namaha. Tu sei l'essere primordiale cosmico. You are the primordial cosmic being. Shri Virata Om Tuameva Saksha Shri Virata Namo Namaha Tu sei Shri Kalki You are Shri Kalki Shri Kalki Mantra Om Tuameva Saksha Shri Kalki Namo Namaha Tu sei Signore Dio Onipotente You are Lord God Almighty Shri Sadashiva Mantra Om Tuameva Saksha Shri Sadashiva Namo Tu sei la mezzaluna crescente. 
किंवा द प्युअर क्रेसेंट अर्धा मंत्रा चेयर क्यों साकर कंप्लेट यू आर द प्योर प्रीमोडियल डॉट श्री बिंदु मंत्रा ओम वामेवा सक्षम श्री बिंदु नमो नमः तू से इस प्रिंसिपियो प्रीमोडियल दिल दिवियनो You are the primordial principle of the divine, Shri Adi Brahma Tattva Mantra. Om Dwameva Sakshat Shri Adi Brahma Tattva Namo Namaha. To say il cerchio sacro. You are the complete, completed sacred circle, Shri Valaya Mantra. Om Dwameva Sakshat Shri Valaya Namo Namaha. Tu sei lo spirito ogni pervadente. You are the all-pervading spirit, Shri Sarva Swa Mantra. Om Dwameva Saksha Shri Sarva Sva Namo Namaha Tu sei la Deya del Sahasrara Chakra You are the goddess of the Sahasrara Chakra Sahasrara Swamini Mantra Om Dwameva Saksha che concede la liberazione spirituale You are the one who bestows spiritual liberation Shri Moksha Dahaini Mantra Om Dwameva Saksha Shri Moksha Dahaini Namo Namaha Tu sei colei che concede il Maha Yoga. You are the one who bestows the Maha Yoga, Shri Maha Yoga Dhaini. Om Dwameva Saksha Shri Maha Yoga Dhaini Namo Namaha Saksha Shri Adi Shakti Ora, mantenendo l'attenzione sul nostro Sahasara, andiamo a vedere un video del 1992 del Sahasara Puja, celebrato a Cabella dalla nostra Divina Madre. We can now listen to a talk of Sri Mataji on the Sahasara Chakra, 1992 in Cabella. Today, we are celebrating the Sahasrara Day. Perhaps we have not realized what a day it must have been. Without opening the Sahasrara, God itself was a myth. Religion itself was a myth. 
all talk about divinity was a myth. People believed in it, but it was just a belief. And the science, as it was put forward, was about to obliterate all the value system, all the <coughs> proof of God Almighty. If you see in the history, one after another, when science established itself, the people who are so-called in charge of the helm of affairs in the religion, in different religions, tried to cope with the findings of the science. <coughs> they tried to so show that all right, if it is said this much is in the Bible, and if it is wrong, we should correct it. Especially Augustine did that. And it started looking as if it's all a stupidity. It's these scriptures were just mythical. At least Quran itself, though had lots of things which were describing the biology of today. They could not believe that human beings were specially created by God. They thought it was just a matter of chance that one after another the animals acquired a situation by which they became human beings. <coughs> Thus, all the time, divinity was challenged and there was no way of giving a proof of whatever is said in the Bible or in the Quran or in the Gita or in the Upanishadas or in the Torah. Any one of these things could not be proved because it was still just a faith. Very, very few people got their realization and when they talked, people did not believe them and thought that they are just trying to say something which <coughs> they are using to propound their own theories. So the whole thing became a kind of a dead science. There was no science uh, of religion. People started thinking that what's the use of following these Ten Commandments or these strict rules of life because by following that you gain nothing, you lose all the fun of the life. And why to think of gaining some punyas also? And that is how all the time there was a big derailment of human value system. Also, these organized religions, these monothelic organized religions, started taking to course of gaining power or gaining money because they thought that's the only way you can control people and can go on. They were least bothered as to deliver the goods whatever have been described in the Bible. Bible, of course, was tampered very much and has been a lot of changes in that. And a person like Paul and Peter, who joined together, tried to spoil most of the truth. Though Quran was not so much touched, but still is dealt more with the right side, <coughs> with the reproduction system and all those things. And so many things are still ambiguous. Now, simultaneously two things have happened. I don't know if you are aware of it or not. First thing that has happened is that now we have 
a new science of microbiology in which we have discovered that every cell has got a DNA tape. Every cell has got a program in it. As we have in a computer a chip, every cell has got a tape in it, in a way that it is programmed. And according to that program, the development takes place. Now imagine the intricacy of the whole thing. So many computers are already programmed. And all these cells have these in them. So a very uh, mysterious sort of thing has come up before the scientist. And they cannot explain it. They cannot explain many things. But one of them is this. <coughs> Now, what Sir Yoga has done, that it has proved that it is the will of God, it is the desire of God, the will of God, which is doing all the work. And it has been proved. All this Chaitanya, Adi Shakti is nothing but the will of God. And will of God is the one is working out everything very harmoniously. I don't know if some of you must have read my book, first book, where I have described how this earth was created. There was a bang, but it was very harmonious. And how it developed is through the will of God. So everything was done in a way that God's will was working. Now the will of God you are feeling on your fingertips. After realization now you have discovered the absolute science which is the will of God, which is an absolute science. You people know that we have cured people of through Sahaja Yoga. You also know giving bandhan and all that things work out. So many things work out automatically after realization that people don't want to believe. In the beginning people would not believe when the scientists told them something. But now it is, you can see the science is always in the flux, all the time changing. One theory is again challenged, another theory is again challenged. But Sahaja Yoga has exposed you to that great truth of science which cannot be challenged which is all there. So anybody who comes out with any a new proposal about defaming God or saying that there is no God, we can prove. Not that there is God, but everything, the creation of this earth, the creation of human beings and everything was done harmoniously by the will of God. If will of God has done everything, the human beings should not take any credit for discovering some things which are created by God. Supposing this carpet is made by somebody and we start discovering all the colors, what is so great, it is all there. You cannot create. So it is not the creation part of it so much important, but the fashioning of this world, whole thing, was done by the will of God. Now, if the will of God is so important, it has to be proved. And now through Sahaja Yoga, after the breaking of the Sahasrara, you have now for the first time felt the will of God, which is such an important thing. But for us it is come to us so Sahaja that we don't understand. <coughs> we just give the bandhan and the things work out. <coughs> And we feel that the things have worked out. So it is Bandhan which has worked out. And we have managed everything. It's not so. It's much more than that. We have now become part and parcel of that big computer, of that will of God. We have become the medium 
or we can say the channels of that will of God. We are connected with that will of God which created all this universe. So everything we can manage because we have got the absolute science in our hand. The absolute science which will work out the betterment of the whole world. We can prove it to the scientist that there is a will of God which has done all this creation. Even evolutionary process is the will of God. Without His will, nothing could have happened. So many people used to say that not even a blade of grass moves without the will of God, which is a very true thing. And you have seen now that the will of God we have got as <coughs> our own power. We can use it. So how important it is to be a surgery. Perhaps we don't realize how important it is to be a Sajogi. Sajoga is not only for saying, other I am full of joy, I am enjoying myself, I got purified, everything is fine. But for what? Why did you get all these blessings? Why you have been cleansed so that this knowledge of will of God should be apparent in you? Not only that, should be a part and parcel of you. So we have to raise our level. We have to come up. For mediocre and ordinary people, it is really useless to give them Sahaja Yoga because they are good for nothing. They are not going to help us in any way because what is needed is now today that we should have people who can really manifest and reflect the will of God. And for that you can understand we have to have very strong people because this will has created this whole universe, the cosmos, this Mother Earth, everything is created by this will of God. <coughs> so now we are exposed to a new uh, dimension and that dimension is that we are ones who are channels of that will of God. So then, what is our duty and what should we do about it? As a result of Sahasrara being opened out, one thing, the illusions have vanished. What you call Sanskrit is Bhranti. Illusions have vanished. You should have no illusion as to the <coughs> existence of God Almighty, the power of His will and the truth about such. You should have no doubts at all. Minimum of minimum should be like that. But while using this power, you should be aware that this power is given to you because you are capable of handling it. Is it the highest power that you could think of? Take any governor, take any minister, anyone, they can be removed tomorrow. They can become corrupt. They can become <coughs> absolutely devoid of any knowledge of their own powers. There are many people who just get elected without knowing what they have to do. So this is not just a conversion of people. It's not only even transformation, but it is a new fashioning of a new human being which has come forward and which is capable of carrying the will of God further. <coughs> <coughs> so, as a result of your realization, <coughs> what you have got? <coughs> the first thing that has happened is that 
your illusions have gone. You should have no illusions about God Almighty, His will, and that He is omnipotent, omnipresent and omniscient. All His omnipotence has done this work. And as collective consciousness, you should also know that you are also omnipotent, omnipresent and omniscient. Omniscient is the thing that He sees everything, knows everything. Part of it, that power is also within you. So to prove His omnipresence, you have to be all the time aware that you are Sahaja Yogis. When I find even now <coughs> Sahaja Yogis struggling about their wives, their children, their house, their jobs, I start wondering, what is their level now? Where are they? When are they going to take up the role of what they have got? So the omnipotent God who is everywhere, who has done all this, the will of God that has worked it out, has to work through you people. And you have to be very strong, very sensible, very wise, also very effective people. <coughs> the more effective you become, the more energy you will get. But still I feel that the Sahaja Yogis are more not taking the responsibility of understanding that they have to represent this God Almighty who is omnipresent, omniscient, who knows everything, who sees everything and who is potent, means almighty. If you understand that this is what has happened after opening the Sahasrara, that you have now got the power which has these three qualities in it. Say now this big thing has to be supported by a strong, pillars. But supposing if they are not strong, it will fall down. In the same way, such a great power which has come to you. For that we don't need very successful people. We don't need people who have a big name or those who have lots of money. What we need? People of character, people of understanding, of wisdom and of strength that whatever may come, I will stand by it. I will take to it, I'll cope with it, I'll change myself and improve myself. <coughs> so now illusion has been dispelled. I hope you all have got rid of your illusions. Also you should have no illusions about yourself. If you have any illusions, you should leave Sahaja But know that you are chosen for this purpose by God's will, that's why you are here. And you have to take it up, the responsibility of understanding this science which is absolute and working it out yourself, for yourself as well as for others. You have felt my love. But your love must be felt because God is love. So your love must be felt by others. Others must feel that you are compassionate, loving, understanding. That's all the time this will of God is flowing through you and you have to work it out in such a manner that people should know that you are a saint, that this power is flowing through. May God bless you.
Ora ci alziamo in piedi e cantiamo i tre mantra del Sazara. We can all stand up to say the three great mantras. Shri Lakshmi 
Ora possiamo alzarci da Kundalini tutti insieme, darci sette bandan e poi per chi vuole può continuare a, medita a meditare. We can all humbly bow, raise our Kundalini and for those of us that like to continue can stay meditating. <coughs> 